Hey guys, it's Sox here, and today I have something special for you guys. This map was actually made by someone in our community, and was uh, sent to me to do a series on. And I actually liked their idea. So, what the series is going to be is, at the end of each episode, I am going to look at your guys' comments, and the top voted comment, um, the disaster or the blessing, uh, I'll probably pick one disaster and one blessing, will happen in the next episode but i have no one in this episode so we're just going to do a random wheel for today's disaster we're going to be using all four races and we'll see which one of them survives the longest give me a little bit to set this up okay now that we've gone on for a little while and each nation has grown a bit and some have even decided to expand um we're going to do our first uh, disaster let me go get the wheel Okay, so what we have here now is zombies, the curse, and mushroom spores. Let's see which one we get. Let's spin that wheel. Da, 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 da. We're gonna get mushroom spores. Now, mushrooms are strong, from what I remember. So, we have to be a little careful. Let's grab some mushroom spores. Okay. I don't want to do many. Because I've seen like five of these guys wipe out an entire population. So, you two. Eh, you three. Okay, now that we have every single one of these islands with some mushrooms, we can try and um to see what happens. Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay. I think there was some mushrooms over here. They're getting into fight with animals. Okay. They need to take them out quickly. Oh, look at that guy. He just got jumped by animals. Okay. So it looks like the dwarves might have taken care of theirs before any incidents happened. The elves having an army just ready to go. But remember, every, I think it's every time... A, they hit one? No, it's every time they kill one, they have a chance to be a, a mushroom. How about you guys? The humans I'm kind of scared of. Because their mushrooms are very close together and kind of in a faraway location. What in the world? Oh. I kind of feel bad for these humans. Uh, um... Did everyone take care of their mushrooms? Damn. Impressive. We're going to bump the number up to 10. We're back. Okay, 10 mushrooms, each island. Let's see some chaos. All right, so I put the them over here. They're already going in for it. They're being attacked by animals. Their army's already coming in. Now, I actually accidentally um, made the king of the elves a mushroom so this probably feels really bad for them <laughs> he was just over here by the farms probably just like talking to them doing a pr campaign and then boom mushroom um okay it seems like they're handling they're burning that place down not a bad strategy honestly i put them up here Oh, someone just got turned into a mushroom. That might be dangerous. We might be looking at a bit of a problem in the human territories. Oh, no. Oh. <clears throat> we might have a death. One nation might be falling. Humans seem to have clenched theirs. The... Oh, no. Wait. They're doing it, kind of. Nope, they're falling. We might be looking at the two nations. So, if they die in this episode, since it wasn't by your guys' hand, I will be respawning them. But I will be giving them a negative debuff. I'll probably give them... Not madness. Maybe cursed? I'll let you guys just choose. Whichever king, since they all have the same amount, and if they fall, it's their own stupidity. 
whatever kingdom falls, they get one bad trait for the next um, match. And I'll let you guys decide which trait that will be. Ah, uh, yep. Orcs are done for. At that point, there's not much you can do. Unless if they get all their armies together. Humans clench theirs. The humans have nothing more to worry about. Elves still have a chance. Not a big chance. And dwarves. The dwarves are kind of... Nope, they're falling. The dwarves kind of got a really bad spawn. But, like, their island was kind of similar to everyone else's in size. Why are they doing so bad? I guess they didn't expand as far as everyone else did. Or For the first time ever, we might be looking at a match where humans win by just not sucking. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> oh. Elves, I still believe the elves have a chance. The orcs still have a chance with their army size, but if they keep losing population like this, it's not going to matter. They do have a second colony. But if the home colony falls, I'm considering that a loss. So humans are up by one, it seems like. They've already won. Yeah, let's make sure. They had 10 right in this area. It's just that they had three armies that immediately rushed to the area. I thought the, the elves scourged earth, earth tactic would have worked out better. But no. <laughs> the, um, the mushrooms are picking up bows now and using it against the elves. What irony. Do you think you are legolas? You are nothing. Nothing, Jon Snow. Okay. Um. Well. They almost pulled it back. They got rid of all the... All of them in this territory. Just this cluster is what remains. A still big cluster. is still to be scared of. But they have enough armies to handle it. If they play their cards correctly. Dwarves. Did the dwarves get a debuff? I remember the last few episodes I've been complaining about them, but today and yesterday they've kind of been underwhelming. Mm. Oh, that's what happens. Elves falling. Nothing really new there. I'm really more curious about the dwarves. Or not the dwarves, the orcs. Since I feel like they have the biggest chance of coming back from this. But. I'm not 100% sure about this. Because they're sending small armies against the mushrooms. And that's just not how you beat them. They need to send a bigger army. But they're not combining their forces. They don't realize that this is a threat. And I think that's what's going to kill them. The elves are putting their forces all in this corner over here, which not the worst idea. That army got wiped out, but it's too late. I think it's too late for the elves. It's too little too it's too little too late. Dwarves Dwarves won? Oh wait no. They still have quite a bit. But that army might just be enough to take them out. Are they going in for it? Do we have a do we have Jeremy? There's no Jeremy's here. Okay. Um I'll come back when something interesting happens. But until then, enjoy the time lapse. So it seems like the orcs are actually being able to hold off the territory that they still have. 
The dwarves are actually taking back territory, which is surprising. The only ones that actually seem to be fully losing are the elves. Uh, <clears throat> the only ones who seem to have fully lost are the elves. <laughs> oh, that hurts. If the elves are the only ones to get punished next episode, that's going to hurt me. Um, let's... Oh, oh, no. It seems like the, the orcs will fall. Uh, I have no idea if the, if the dwarves will. They're, they only have like a handful on their island. They have big enough armies to handle it. Yeah, no. At this point, yeah. Orcs have fallen. I see no way of them coming back from that. What in the world? <laughs> so mushrooms are overpowered is what I've learned today. They just... I wasn't even paying attention up here. You guys let me know in the comments what happened. I swear they took out their army. Was it just one mushroom hidden away in a corner? Oh, and they're grouping up like this. So everyone who was like rooting for the humans saying, oh, humans best, you, <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> we, we were able to take care of our mushrooms. Apparently you guys kept one as an experiment. This is what happens. Oh, humans got wiped. Are humans supposed to be the second race wiped out? Technically the elves still have this over here. I'm, they're out. Like, uh, should I consider this? I'll let you guys choose. If I if you guys don't want me to consider this, I'll wipe it out. Or do you, uh, yeah, because then I would have to spawn mushrooms down there to make it fair. Anyways, let's watch this. Where's the big army? There it is. Just coming in. happened maybe it was like in this corner over here they killed one person there was just no one there to stop them that's brutal humans are going to be the second race to be wiped out right behind the elves how about you guys dwarves have nearly wiped out their problem they have two three um uh, four there are four are remaining but as we saw with the humans that might be enough oh that's scary <laughs> orcs have still a really large population with a really big army surprisingly but it's not enough Okay, I'm going to make an executive decision and prevent this from happening right now. There we go. If you guys want that, I, I'll put them back there again. I know exactly where they were located. It just doesn't really seem fair at the moment. Right. Let's watch them die. Come on, my beautiful... Mushrooms. <laughs> you know what they say, don't do shrooms. This is what happens. If you do shrooms, you're gonna die, become a mushroom, and then just kill your entire family. That's morbid. Why would I say that? <laughs> Alright, um... Dwarves are gonna be the only winners. I'm calling it. Seems like having a smaller island actually paid off in the long run. Let's watch this. I think this is the last mushroom on the Dwarven Island. Yep, they've killed every other mushroom. Just this guy. wonder when they're going to notice him. Probably when they decide to expand. The orcs are just so good at holding territory. That's just something that 
they've always been really good at, surprisingly, is just saying no <laughs> to invaders. <sighs> but, you know, um, you know, why am I surprised? They survived the zombie apocalypse. Why wouldn't they survive the mushroom one, too? You know, same thing to them, just another Tuesday. Uh, what day is it today? Ah, Tuesday, Thursday. Thur Thursday. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I'm so bad with time. Um, oh, that's insult to injury. Um, let's turn off water. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Damn. Okay. I actually might have helped them. I think they killed a few of them. Not enough, though. Right. And... Dwarves are officially free of the plague. Of their little... Mushrooms. So, we're just gonna time lapse this for you guys. So you can see the death of them. Actually, I think I know what happened to the humans. <laughs> I think there was another human who was infected, but didn't get killed. And when he finally died of old age, he turned into one and then rampaged around their territory without an army nearby. I'm 90% sure the humans killed the original 10. So I'll leave it up to you guys if we're going to count the humans as survived or dead. Like, do they deserve to be punished if there was another one who just spawned, even though they did kill the original 10 and stop that invasion? I'll leave that up to you guys. Oh, what's happening? What the? <laughs> Um, um, the Dwarven Empire has arrived. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to allow that for now. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Is those mushrooms? What? Are there mushrooms alive here? So I guess the, the affection is still very much alive. It's in the blood of the people. I actually might be inside the blood of the people. I'm going to bust them. I'm going to get rid of the curse. Mm. Or I might just kill them and respawn them. Eh, I'll, I'll figure it out next episode. So yeah, I think that's what happened. Um, It's just someone died from old age, like what happened down here so i'm not gonna count it against the humans humans won so don't feel bad <laughs> since the door or the uh orcs decide just not to die what we're going to do is um help them along a little bit just give me a minute all right let's help them along since they're obvious there's no way they're going to survive this but they're going to survive for a really long time. So, just help them a little bit. I have a save of the world, so don't worry. Look at how many of them were infected. Yeah, that's terrifying. I actually wonder now. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't kill them fully, they can just spread through your colony like... Terrifying. Anyways, I have a save of the world, so let's do that. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. This episode was brought to you by one of the Discord mods. Um, I believe it was Gamer. Now, I hope you guys have a good day. Take care.